Chancellor Roderick came to speak with me. Could you try not to antagonize him? If I offend the man so easily, perhaps he should try leaving me alone. Let's see what we have. safely. So, you're one of those Heard you found something that had to do with wardens. Would have liked to have seen it. I've been meaning to thank you. There are a hundred things that need your attention. You didn't have to take the time to help me, and yet you did. If the history you pursue benefits the wardens, then it was worth it. I've never been more certain of my decision to join you. There will be opportunities for us to do even more in the future. Then I look forward to it. What do you think of the Inquisition? You already know what I think of your forces. I'm not sure what else there is to say. We should return to our duties. As you wish. You are, after all, in charge. Good. You need something? Let's
Right. Looks fine. Enough.
What is it? This could help us. Look around.
Blackwall would have liked to have been here for this. The Wardens must have moved on. Moved on to where, I wonder? They're searching for someone. On Warden? Business, maybe? Secret missions, or whatever it is they get up to when there's no blight. Whoever the Wardens are seeking, he's led them away from here. Nothing to report, sir. really think the Conclave had a chance of making peace, Seeker? You do not? But what was the Divine's plan? Bring everyone together and hope really hard they would all get along. 
Most Holy did not confide her plan to me. Perhaps she thought they were tired of death and conflict. Now when has that ever been true? For Templars or mages? I will not mock a dead woman, Varric. She did what she could, and that is more than most. Waking sea. Somewhere across all that water is Kirkwall. It was a long journey to Haven. Considering the company, I'm surprised it didn't feel longer.
I confess, Solas, I am surprised you decided to remain. Why? The breach remains a threat to us all. Just the same. I wondered if you might leave now that we have a plan to seal it. Ah, because I am an apostate. I might flee before the Inquisition throws me in chains. I take my commitment seriously, Seeker. Come what may, I shall see this through. As you wish. Though I cannot guarantee what will happen in the days to come.
Nothing to report, sir.
I hear reconstruction is progressing well in Kirkwall. I know things are bad there. I wasn't trying to. You weren't trying to remind me how bad it is in Kirkwall, so you decided to talk about it? About its recovery. What you're talking about are the buildings, and even that will take years. People don't recover so easily. Near another artifact.
greeting. That's enough for now. Another time, then. How's it going? So how did you get the name Iron Bull? I picked it. You know how it is. Even growing up Talvashoth, your parents had to tell you about some of it, right? No name. I figure your parents chose yours the same way. Nice going on a dar, by the way. Weapon. I like that. But why specifically Iron Bull? This may surprise you, but I really like hitting things. Also, it's THE Iron Bull, technically. I like having an article at the front. It makes it sound like I'm not even a person, just a mindless weapon. An implement of destruction. That really works for me. See you later, Bull. See ya. Good day to you. Smithing is hot work. Another time. Fine. Heard you found something that had to do with wardens. Would have liked to have seen it. What do you think of the Inquisition? You already know what I think of your forces. And... Day. So you had granted them power over the very thing. Tell Mother Chip.
How about nail? Blessing upon his parents and on to the Thank you for all that you are doing to him. Tell Segret I've received permission to sell him a few things. Let us begin.
comes upon me, I shall embrace the light. I shall weather the storm. I shall endure. What you have created, no one can fail. I wonder if there is Sir Lordy Bloomers. What do you think about the people who have gathered? Which? The ones who do things or the ones who give orders? I feel so delicious in the sky Where's the one who guides us into the night? We'll talk later. Good, right? I'll be here. Finite. What one man gains, another has lost. Ready for waiting. Those who steal from their brothers and sisters. I was wondering if you could look at some locks for me. What, the doors under the chantry? You know about them? Places have doors. I just wasn't interested in poking through some sister's breaches. Whatever floats you. Consider them open, yeah?
granted them power over the very fade itself. We should search the area. Mage poisoned our layman.
reports are. Nothing to report, sir.
valuables they find in the deep roads.
supports us. Nothing true.
Thank you for coming. Maybe you can solve this mess. Our missing patrols are being held hostage by Avar. Barbarians from the mountains. What are they doing in a bog? That's the thing. Their leader, he wants them to fight you. Because you're the Herald of Andraste. What do they have against Andraste? Well, the Avar think there are gods in nature. As in, the sky has a god and the forest. The Avar say you're claiming to be sent by one, and they'll challenge the will of your god with their own. I think their leader's just a boastful little prick who wants to brag he killed you. I've survived demons. I think I can handle myself against some southern barbarians. Yeah, you'd think. But they're a brawny bunch. Getting to our troops won't be easy. You'll have to fight your way through undead. Wait, you're not squeamish about undead, are you? They're only corpses possessed by spirits. Right. Nothing to fear. The Avar are holed up in the castle on the other side of the Fallow Mire. Make her willing, the Inquisition's people are still alive. I've new stuff. What is it? This could help us.
Look. Signs of a plague. It must have been a terrible illness. No one's come to reclaim the land. No one living at any rate. Careful. Disturbing the water draws them out.
some sort? No Kunari I've met will explain it even slightly. It's not a secret. It's just too big for a quick chat. Tell me about the Kune is like saying tell me about economics. Most Kunari know just enough to get by. It's like blind dwarves trying to figure out a dragon by touch. Only the priests really have the whole picture, and they spend their whole lives figuring that crap out. Well, I'll leave them to it then.
set up camp. Sign of the Avar who want to challenge me, or the Inquisition's soldiers. I hope the Avar haven't gotten bored with the hostages and that they understand how hostages work. So, you're Herald of Andraste. My kin want you dead, Lowlander, but it's not my job. No fears from me. Why aren't you with the other Avar? Trying to figure out this hole in the world. Never seen anything like it's like. They spit out angry spirits. Endless. What the sky's trying to tell us? I don't know. They're caused by the breach in the sky. It was some kind of magic gone wrong. I know that, Lowlander. I'm talking about the Lady of the Skies. Do you not know her? Can't you see the warning she writes through the bird flocks in the air? Interesting how widely Ferelden beliefs diverge. Call me Ferelden again, Elf, and see how far you get. I thought the Avar wanted to fight me. Our chieftain's son wants to fight you. I'm called him when the dead pile up. Rights to the gods, mending for the bleeding, a dagger for the dying. That's what I do. I don't pick up a blade for a whelp's trophy hunt. The other Avar kidnapped an Inquisition patrol. Are they all right? A few were injured in the skirmish, but they were alive. Last I saw them. Someone's trained them well. They killed more of us than I thought they would. Farewell, then. Watch the water. the gaps in the air. Pretty great, huh? Maybe you do have a god's favor. Aye. Farewell, then. Watch the water.
smell. These people never had a chance.
near another round. Another of the Elven artifacts. Feel another of the Elven artifacts. Someone help! sense elven magic somewhere nearby. That's elven magic somewhere.
debris of corpses back to the shore. Can't wait to use it. Many of them! Let's get to the castle!
Jake Blackwall would have liked to have been here for this.
That crossbow is remarkable, but... I am surprised the dwarves have not made more of them. The woman who made Bianca would rather that not happen. Wars are bloody enough as it is. A crossbow that fires this far and this quickly, with so little training, every battle would be a massacre. Indeed. I am surprised, not disappointed. Join me. Help us stop the breach. Is this why the Lady of the Sky put me here? To help heal the wounds in her skin? Aye. I'll join you. Let me make peace with my kid and I'll find where you set your flag. I think Blackwall would have liked to have been here for this. Yes? That's enough for now. Another time, then. Tell Mother Giselle, I run a business.
the leader of the Bulls charges that I am something, is he not? A learned child with a blessing upon his Thank parents you for and all on you are doing doing child. Child. Father Kerry Adan says we'll have the agents that. you requested soon. Good luck sealing those rifts. Have it done by midweek. That went friendly.
Master Threat understands that your work can't... You need something? Let me know. Another time, then. Another time. Has Cassandra spoken to you about my new recruits? They are not your recruits, Commander. They're ours. Let's see what we have. Right.
Okay. There's one achievement I forgot to get. <clears throat> so there's an achievement in the game where you have to get to Skyhold before level 5. I think I'm level 9 now. Um, so what's going to happen is I'm going to probably run through the game again um, to get the achievement uh, for the Skyhold achievement because uh, as 100% Series like that sort of achievement is kind of intuitive because I um I like to get with them before I move on to the story. So I'm obviously ahead of I'm um, level nine, so I can't get the achievement anymore. So what's going to happen is for that achievement, I'm going to go and I'm going to go and do it, do this game again, probably on like easy or something. And just speed run until Skyhold to get the achievement. So I'll be doing that as like the final part. Um, if I'm, you know, in the mood for it. Well, I probably will, because it's an all achievement series, so. But yeah, I thought, you, I thought I'd let you guys know, because I think someone, someone would notice. We don't have the manpower to take the castle. Either we find another way in, or give up this nonsense and go and get the Templars. Redcliffe is in the hands of a magister. This cannot be allowed to stand. The letter from Alexius asked for the Herald of Andraste by name. It's an obvious trap. So, we've heard from Magister Alexius. I expected as much. And yet some of us want to sit and do nothing. Not this again. Redcliffe Castle is one of the most defensible fortresses in Ferelden. It has repelled thousands of assaults. If you go in there, you'll die. And we'll lose the only means we have of closing these rifts. I won't allow it. And if we don't even try to meet Alexius, we lose the mages and leave a hostile foreign power on our doorstep. Even if we could assault the keep, it would be for naught. An Orlesian Inquisition's army marching into Ferelden would provoke a war. Our hands are tied. The Magister... ...has outplayed us. We can't just give up. There has to be something we can do. We cannot accept defeat now. There must be a solution. Other than the main gate, there's gotta be another way into the castle. A sewer, a water course, something. There's nothing I know of that would work. Wait. There is a secret passage into the castle, an escape route for the family. It's too narrow for our troops, but we could send agents through. Too risky. Those agents will be discovered well before they reach the Magister. That's why we need a distraction. Perhaps the envoy Alexius wants so badly. Keep attention on Adar, while we disable the Magister's defenses. It's a gamble, but it might work. Fortunately, you'll have help. This man says he has information about the Magister and his methods, Commander. Your spies will never get past Alexius's magic without my help. So if you're going after him, I'm coming along. The plan puts you in the most danger. We can't in good conscience order you to do this. We can still go after the Templars if you'd rather not play the bait. It's up to you.
Announce us. The Magister's invitation was for Master Adar only. These others will have to remain here. Where I go, they go. My Lord Magister, the agents of the Inquisition have arrived. My friend, it's so good to see you again. And your associates, of course. I'm sure we can work out some arrangement that is equitable to all parties. Are we mages to have no voice in deciding our fate? Fiona, you would not have turned your followers over to my care if you did not trust me with their lives. If the Grand Enchanter wants to be part of these talks, then I welcome her as a guest of the Inquisition. Thank you. The Inquisition needs mages to close the breach, and I have them. So, what shall you offer in exchange? Actually, I hoped you could tell me about these Venatori I'm hearing so much about. Now, where could you have heard that name? I told him. Edix, what have you done? You wanted me here. Why? Do you know what you are? You walk into my stronghold with your stolen mark, a gift you don't even understand, and think you're in control. You're nothing but a mistake. If I'm a mistake, what exactly was the breach supposed to accomplish? It was to be a triumphant moment for the Elder One. For this world. Father, listen to yourself. Do you know what you sound like? He sounds exactly like the sort of villainous cliché everyone expects us to be. Dorian, I gave you a chance to be a part of this. You turned me down. The Elder One has power you would not believe. He will raise the Imperium from its own ashes. That's who you serve? The one who killed the Divine? Is he a mage? Soon. He will become a god. He will make the world bow to mages once more. We will woo from the Boric Ocean to the frozen seas. You can't involve my people in this. Alexius, this is exactly what you and I talked about never wanting to happen. Why would you support this? Stop it, father. Give up the Venatori. Let the southern mages fight the breach, and let's go home. No. It's the only way, Felix. He can save you. Save me? There is a way. The Elder One promised if I undo the mistake at the temple. I'm going to die. You need to accept that. Seize them, Venatori. The Elder One demands this man's life. <laughs> Your men are dead, Alexius. You are a mistake. You should never have existed. No! Blood of the Elder One. Where'd they come from? Come <laughs> on. 
this place. Interesting. It's probably not what Alexius intended. The rift must have moved us to what? The closest confluence of arcane energy? The last thing I remember, we were in the castle hall. Let's see. If we're still in the castle, it isn't. Oh, of course, it's not simply where, it's when. Alexius used the amulet as a focus. It moved us through time. Did we go forward in time or back? And how far? Those are excellent questions. We'll have to find out, won't we? Let's look around, see where the rift took us. Then we can figure out how to get back. If we can. Alexius mentioned an elder one in the hall. Do you know who he was talking about? Leader of the Venatori, I suspect. Some magister aspiring to godhood. It's the same old tune. Let's play with magic we don't understand. It will make us incredibly powerful. Evidently, it doesn't matter if you rip apart the fabric of time in the process. There were others in the hall. Could they have been drawn through the rift? I doubt it was large enough to bring the whole room through. Alexius wouldn't risk catching himself or Felix in it. They're probably still where and when we left them. In some sense, anyway. What was Alexius trying to do? I believe his original plan was to remove you from time completely. If that happened, you would never have been at the Temple of Sacred Ashes or mangled his Elder One's plan. I think your surprise in the Castle Hall made him reckless. He tossed us into the Rift before he was ready. I counted it. The magic went wild, and here we are. Makes sense? It just seems so insane. I don't even want to think about what this will do to the fabric of the world. We didn't travel through time so much as punch a hole through it and toss it into the privy. But don't worry. I'm here. I'll protect you. You have a plan to get us back, I hope. I have some thoughts on that. They're lovely thoughts, like little jewels.
made a dreadful mess of this place, hasn't he? I didn't see this part of the castle. It was covered in the tackiest carvings of wolves and dogs I'd ever seen. This is not an improvement. Bottles of beer on the wall. Three hundred bottles of beer. Take one down, pass it around.
not dead. You're supposed to be dead. There was a burn on the ground and everything. Alexius didn't kill us. His spell sent us through time. This is our future. Well, it's my present, and in my past, I definitely saw you both die. Are you all right? You don't look so good. Red Lyrio. If I'm lucky, it'll kill me. If not, I am hoping I die fighting. You're dying? No, he's not. If we find Alexius, we go back and none of this will happen. Remember? Alexius isn't the one you need to worry about. It's his elder one. He killed the Empress of Orlay and used the confusion to launch an invasion of the South. The army was all demons. You ever fought a demon army? I don't recommend it. Well, shit. I know, right? Let's move. No time like the present. What is the date? I need to know how much time has passed. Harvest Mia. 942 Dragon. 942? Then we've missed an entire year. We have to get out of here. Go back in time. Please, stop this from happening. Alexius serves the Elder One more powerful than the Maker. No one challenges him and lives. I promise, I will do everything in my power to set things right. Our only hope is to find the amulet that Alexius used to send us here. If it still exists, I can use it to reopen the rift at the exact spot we left. Maybe. Good. I said, maybe. It might also turn us into paste. You must try your spy master, Leliana. She is here. Find her. Quickly. Before the Elder One learns you're here. If Red Lyrium is an infection, why is it coming out of the walls? Are you sure you want to find out? Saw you die. The spell Alexius cast displaced us in time. We just got here, so to speak. Can you reverse the process? You could return and obviate the events of the last year. It may not be too late. You look bad. Is there anything I can do to help? I am dying, but no matter. If you can undo this, they can all be saved. 
This world is an abomination. It must never come to pass. Magister's in his throne room. Vince say he locked himself in. The one has taken all that is his and will soon rule from his city. That still doesn't make him a god. Oh! There is no god but the Elder One. The Maker is dead. Say it.
in the temple. Spike! Never. There's no use to this to... Well, that was impressive. Anger is stronger than any pain. Do you have weapons? Good. The Magister's probably in his chambers. You aren't curious how we got here? No. Alexius sent us into the future. This, his victory, his Elder One, it was never meant to be. I need to find Alexius and reverse the spell. If we can get back to our present time, we can prevent this future from ever happening. And mages always wonder why people fear them. No one should have this power. It's dangerous and unpredictable. Before the breach, nothing we did. Enough. This is all pretend to you. Some future you hope will never exist. I suffered. The whole world suffered. It was real. What happened while we were away? Stop talking. I'm just asking for information. No, you're talking to fill silence. Nothing happened that you want to hear. We need to find Alexis. I'm sure he'll be in the nicer part of the castle.
Magister needs more power for his ritual. No. Put me, Linnea. Shattered. There is no boundary now between the world and the fate.
What became of Felix? Do you know? Yes, I know. And you're not going to tell me? You'll find out soon enough. Draste's name is that. Hold on to it. The Elder One is interested in saving his followers.
much damage did Alexis' spell do? Rifts tore apart all of Southern Thedas, starting here. But whether that's his doing or the breach, who can say? Somebody had very questionable taste.
charter quickly. Block them from coming up the stairs! Take some souvenirs? Maybe just a couple of those pronged helmets. Let's head back to the main hall. I think I know. We'll open that door.
Alexius, it's time to answer for your crimes. And here you are, finally. I knew you would appear again. Not that it would be now, but I knew I hadn't destroyed you. My final failure. Was it worth it? Everything you did to the world, to yourself. It doesn't matter now. All we can do is wait for the end. It does matter. I will undo this. How many times have I tried? The past cannot be undone. All that I fought for, all that I betrayed, what have I wrought? Ruin and death, that is nothing else. The Outer One comes for me, for you, for us all. <sighs> Felix. That's Felix? Make his breath, Alexius, what have you done? He would have died, Dorian. I saved him. Please, don't hurt my son. I'll do anything you ask. Hand over the amulet, and we let him go. Let him go, and I swear you get what you want. I want the world back. <laughs> no. No! Impossible! 
He wanted to die, didn't he? All those lies he told himself, the justifications. He lost Felix long ago. He didn't even notice. Oh, Alexius. This Alexius was too far gone. But the Alexius in our time might still be reasoned with. I suppose that's true. This is the same amulet he used before. I think it's the same one we made in Minrathis. That's a relief. Give me an hour to work out the spell he used, and I should be able to reopen the rift. An hour? That's impossible! You must go now! The Elder One. You cannot stay here! We'll head out front. Keep them off your trail. We'll make this count. The only way we live is if this day never comes. Cast your spell. You have as much time as I have hours. darkness closes, I am shielded by flame. Andrasi, guide me. Maker, take me to your side. You move, and we all die! You'll have to do better than that.
Put aside all claim to Redcliffe, and we let you live. You won. There is no point extending this charade. Felix. It's going to be all right, Father. You'll die. Everyone dies. Glad that's over with. Or not. Grand Enchanter, we'd like to discuss your abuse of our hospitality. Your Majesties, when we offered the Major Sanctuary, we did not give them the right to drive our people from their homes. King Alistair, Queen Anora, I assure you, we never intended... In light of your actions, good intentions are no longer enough. You and your followers have worn out your welcome. Leave Ferelden, or we'll be forced to make you leave. But we have hundreds who need protection. Where will we go? The Inquisition might be willing to take in the mages. And what are the terms of this arrangement? Hopefully better than what Alexius gave you. The Inquisition is better than that, yes? They have lost all possible supporters. The Inquisition is their only remaining chance for freedom. It seems we have little choice but to accept whatever you offer. You will surrender yourselves as prisoners and conscripts of the Inquisition. We shouldn't have accepted the Magister's help, I know, but... The sky has been torn open. We are all in immediate danger. There is no room for failure now. We cannot close the breach without you. But we would be mad to trust you. If the Inquisition wants the mages, it can have them. We want them gone by sundown tomorrow. Then we have no choice but to surrender to the Inquisition. I'll go prepare for the journey to Haven. The breach will be closed. We must do what we can to restore peace to a world that sorely needs it. have suffered enough. Why continue to mistreat them? It is not mistreating them to take reasonable precautions. Whatever you call it, the situation with the mages is unstable and likely to deteriorate, just as the circumstances. What did you think we were doing, taking the mages prisoner? There's an open hole in the veil going to take terrible risks closing the breach. And we offer them nothing as incentive. They will rebel again. Enough arguing. None of us were there. We cannot afford to second-guess our people. The sole point of the Herald's mission was to gain the Mage's aid, and that was accomplished. The voice of pragmatism speaks. Here I was, just starting to enjoy the circular arguments. Closing the breach is all that matters. I got a taste of the consequences if we fail. Let's make sure we don't. We will not fail. We should look into the things you saw in this dark future. The assassination of Empress Selene. A demon army. Sounds like something a Tevinta cult might do. Orle falls, the Imperium rises. Chaos for everyone. 
One battle at a time. It's going to take time to organize our troops and the mage recruits. Let's take this to the war room. Join us. None of this means anything without your mark, after all. Of course. Meet us there when you're ready. I'll skip the war council, but I would like to see this breach up close, if you don't mind. Then you're staying? Oh, didn't I mention? The south is so charming and rustic. I adore it to little pieces. There's no one I'd rather be stranded in time with, future or present. Excellent choice, but let's not get stranded again anytime soon, yes? I'll begin preparations to march on the summit. Make a willing, the mages will be enough to grant us victory. The Inquisition appreciates your assistance in this battle, Lady Gorpin. And my miners appreciate your business. You'll have your Illyrium by the end of the week. I should tell you, Ambassador. The Chantry raised some fuss when they learned about our arrangement. The Inquisition must certainly see... Mages. Lovely. I hear the Mages will now answer to the Inquisition. And when you no longer need them, will they be locked up and forgotten again? Most will treat their dogs with more kindness. I'll make sure they're protected. That's what the Chantry used to say. It's a mercy. They are protected. Oh, how well they were protected. In Redcliffe, you sacrificed yourself so that I could return here. Of course I did. One small life in exchange for a second chance at history. I always loved a bargain. It was still a sacrifice. And still noble. And I would do it again. I'll leave you to your work. Put a leash on the rebel majors, I see. Interesting how they seem to like the idea. As if it's a relief to be penned in again. I take it you don't agree. Not my place to disagree, is it? It just seems like you're repeating history. It all depends on what you do with these majors later. No guarantee you'll throw them back into circles again, I suppose. I mean, unless you're as thick as you seem. Which would be sad, really. Have you gone to see Alexius yet? He's in the cells. Not yet, no. I saw him before they locked him up. He looked... despondent. Broken. Not the man I remember, nor the one I want to. I suppose the Inquisition will judge him eventually. I wonder if there's any chance they'll show him mercy. He hardly deserves it, but for Felix's sake. I can't help hoping there's something left of the man I once knew. So, I assume you're Talbashoff or something like. Why would you assume that? If you weren't, you would have split my skull open at our first meeting before I said a word. Centuries of warfare with the Canari do lead to this state of affairs. You've encountered Canari before? Canari raids are rather old hat for anyone from the Eastern Imperium. Although the attacks aren't quite the rampaging wars of ages past. Now we're like two angry dowagers who only remember to spit at each other when they pass on the street. Did you meet any Canari personally? None who weren't rushing towards me with a sword. I was too busy running in the other direction to say hello. I've met some Talbashoff in my time, however. Mercenaries and a few merchants. They're not the same as Canari. Might easily be a different people altogether. If only other people knew that. <laughs> it's a southerner thing. Most of them don't even know what a Canari looks like. Forgive their ignorance, O oh mighty one. They shall learn proper fear in time. If you've no problem with me, I've no problem with you. A philosophy I've learned to live by. No issue with my being Inquisitor, then? None that specifically involve you being so very, very large. No. Good. It occurs to me that I barely know anything about you. 
beyond my being a mage from Davinci, you mean? Beyond that, yes. And beyond my being so charming and well-dressed, which is obvious to anyone. You certainly think highly of yourself. It's true. I could be more modest, but I'd be lying. Now, what was I talking about? Ah, yes, me. I am the scion of House Parvis, a product of generations of careful breeding and the repository of its hopes and dreams. Naturally, I despised it all. The lies, the scheming, the illusions of supremacy. That's Tevinter in a nutshell, isn't it? Needless to say, my family was not happy with my choices. Why would your family be upset with your choices? Because I rejected their idyllic plan. If they had their way, by now I'd be married to some unlucky girl from a powerful family. We'd live in luxurious despair, despising each other as I waited to take my father's place in the magisterium. I declined the honor, and thus it's best I'm far from home. Less of an embarrassment that way, you see. I'm getting the impression you don't care much for your homeland. On the contrary, I care for my homeland a great deal. There's so much potential. Sadly, we squander it. We refuse to acknowledge how far we've fallen because pretending is easier. We pretend the Canari can be beaten. We pretend that we're superior to everyone, even our own people. Not everyone feels that way. I don't. Sadly, we're the minority. It just seems so much of what you say about the Imperium is entirely negative. It might sound that way. For all our faults, my people have many virtues. We are laden with history and culture. Tevinter is where Thedas truly began, remember? We treasure our past and preserve it. You can walk down a side street and find nothing built during the modern ages. And despite appearances, we care deeply about everything. We have no reserve, not in war and not in love. If I truly believed my homeland was beyond all hope, I wouldn't miss it so much. What did you mean by generations of careful breeding? The great families of Tevinter don't have children. They refine traits, weed out the undesirable, and promote the rest. My mother was chosen for my father because magic runs strongly in her blood. Never mind that they loathed each other. They wanted a son who could become Archon to make House Parvis the envy of the Imperium. They got me. A cautionary tale that you should be careful what you wish for. Why remain with the Inquisition? Why not go back to Devinter? <laughs> I'm not exactly welcome back home. Not that it matters. I'm quite accustomed to being a pariah. It adds to my charm. I can do more for Devinter here. If the Venatori succeed, it'll set my homeland back a thousand years. I'm sure some Magisters would disagree. But that's why we kill them. I think I've heard enough. That's too bad. I never tire of talking about myself. I'd like to ask you about Tevinter. Ah, yes. Everyone outside the Imperium always seems quite fascinated by it. Probably why they come up with so many ridiculous tales. Flying cows over Minlathus. That's <laughs> madness. All right, that one's actually true, but the cows didn't have wings. I digress. Anything in particular you wanted to know? It seems strange that an entire empire would be ruled by mages. I find it strange that your mages don't rule anything at all. <laughs> Actually, the fiction in the Imperium is that mages don't rule. The Magisterium rules. That magisters are all mages is considered a convenient technicality. What is the Magisterium, exactly? The upper house of the Imperial Senate, and the only part worth having a seat on. Those seats are split among the circles of Magi, the Chantry, and the Major families. All Majors now. <laughs> it's odd that outside the Imperium, you use Magister like it applies to every Tevinter Mage. If you're not a Magister, then what are you called? No special title? I'm an Altus, which is almost as good as a Magister, depending on who you ask. I've never heard of an Altus. Upper class. Those families who trace descent from the Dreamers, the first prophets of the old gods. If you're a mage and you're not Altus, then you're later, lower class. If you're not a mage at all, you're Soferati, that's 
everyone else. <laughs> we do love our fancy words. I thought the Archon ruled over the Imperium. Well, yes. Technically, he can overrule laws passed by the Magisterium, but that never happens. Even so, he gets to appoint new Magisters, which means all the families vie madly for his favor. Thus, the Archon gets invited to all the parties. The truest path to Tevin's influence, let me tell you. If it's a fiction, that means mages do rule, then. Yes, and no. Let me put it this way. Mages do rule, but not all mages are equal. If you're not from the right family, chances are you don't rule anything. Maybe you're even a slave. The idea that anyone could be a mage, however, keeps the masses placated. Can anyone be a mage? Technically. The potential runs mostly in bloodlines, but it's been known to happen. More importantly, commoners believe it can. Divinta legend is chock full of mage heroes from humble origins. So they hold out hope. Someday my son or my son's son will be a mage. Someday. Four swords don't realize that means he'll be a quaestor at the arse end of the hundred pillars. At best. Being a Quaestor isn't a good thing? I imagine the average non-mage likes to think so. Counting numbers and shuffling papers all day is better than many occupations after all. If you're a second-class citizen among a pack of piranha, however, your outlook changes. But let me ask you something else. Of course. There's an Imperial Chantry, isn't there? With its own divine? You people aren't supposed to talk about the Black Divine, are you? If you mention him outside the Imperium, people make that face, like you're urinating in public. But yes, we do have the Chantry, or a version of it. Night and day comparing it to yours. Is the Imperial Chantry so different from ours? Not in theory. The main difference is in the whole magic is meant to serve man, not rule over him business. Back home, ruling the unwashed masses is serving them. For the good of the Imperium. Perhaps it started with good intentions, but these days it's academic. The Circles are in command. There are Circles of Magi in the Imperium? We don't have dismal little mage prisons, if that's what you mean. They're academies, prestigious ones. We have Templars as well, but they don't cancel spells or whatever your Templars do. They're soldiers. They watch for abuse of magic, yes, but only those who are weak or who fall out of favor get dealt with. Mostly, they enforce the Magisterium's edicts. The Chantry smiles and nods from the sidelines. Do you really call him the Black Divine? <laughs> we don't call him that, oh no. In the Imperium, he's the true Divine. The woman sitting on the Sunburst throne is some backwater pretender. It all stems from a disagreement over Andraste. Marvelous, isn't it? Why would they disagree over Andraste? It's not my field of expertise, but the Imperium believes Andraste was a mortal woman, a mage. Down south, they say, no, she's the bride of the Maker, ascended to his side, divine provenance, a blah, blah, blah. We feel better believing Andraste was one of us. Makes executing her less damning, you see. So we elected a man as divine, the south declared war, and we've been feuding cousins ever since. So the Imperial divine is always a man all the better to distinguish him from that other one yes don't think there aren't a number of female magisters who bristle at that why can't they be divine after all same reason you never see a man on the sunburst throne because that's how it's always been done excellent reasoning do you consider yourself andrastian ah. the big question it might surprise you that I do consider myself Andrastian. I simply do not believe in the Chantry. It is a relic, whether back home or here in the South. Something from a bygone age desperately clinging to relevance. It's not an opinion that makes me popular. I disagree. I don't think the Chantry is irrelevant. Not to most, no. Perhaps just to me. I'll say this. I may not believe in the Chantry, but I believe in you. In me? That the Maker sent you. 
whether through Andraste or fate. Cassandra is not wrong. You are what we needed most at the moment we needed it. That's what they will say in ages to come. That's true. I feel the same. My, someone's full of themselves, aren't they? I was just agreeing with you. Don't agree on my account. A little doubt wouldn't harm the Herald of Andraste. Me? I've seen too much to believe I know everything. The world is bigger than I. Even bigger than you. It laughs at all the things we think we know. The Maker doesn't need me to believe. But I do. The thought of no one at all watching out for us is too frightening. Let me ask you something else. So many questions. I'm wondering if the Imperium would be a useful ally. I'd think you'd be more concerned whether or not they'd support the Venatori. They won't. At least, not officially. They'll disavow all knowledge of dangerous cultists. Secretly, many Magisters will rejoice at the idea. And if the South falls to chaos in the meantime, all the better. It would be in the Imperium's best interest to help. Surely it could use allies. I think the Imperium gave up on the idea of allies a long time ago. We've been fighting the Canari for what? 200 years off and on? It's a point of pride that we go it alone. They'll sneer at the South behind their silk handkerchiefs and say, you've had it easy for far too long. Let's not forget that the Inquisition seems to be an arm of the Orlesian Chantry. Anathema so far as they're concerned. We're not part of the Chantry. The Chantry opposed the Inquisition's formation. You think that matters? Don't be silly. The Herald of Andraste. Your very title smacks of the Southern Chantry. You may as well be a heathen. I think they're far more frightened what you'll do if you succeed. Just how often is blood magic used there? Oh, not at all. Not at all. That's what any Magister would tell you. They'd be convincingly offended by the notion too. Of course, what people call blood magic here, and what we consider blood magic, are two different things. What's considered actual blood magic in Tevinter? Blood magic isn't inherently dangerous. Using your own blood or that of a willing participant, what's the harm? The problem is that what's permitted only gets you so much power. And what if you need more? You always need more. That's where we get into sacrifices and demon summoning. None of that is done. Not officially. Behind closed doors, it's a different story. Real blood magic can give you an edge, a leg up against your opponents. It's safe to assume that any mage of rank does it. The rest are quietly shut out of power, to put it bluntly. You'd think the Templars would object. I imagine they did, long ago. Once, their investigations might have been sincere. Then their balls were cut off, too inconvenient. Nowadays, only the friendless are accused, and most of them probably innocent. There must be some mages who oppose this. Of course. I do. And I'm not entirely alone. Occasionally, there'll be a magister who makes noise, and then the reform talk begins. All very patriotic. Meanwhile, that magister will be quietly shunned. Chances are, surprise, it's learned he was a Maleficar all along. Most learn to keep quiet. Me? <laughs> I enjoy the allure of pariahs. Anyone who talks about the Imperium mentions slavery. It's the center of the slave trade. Ah, that is true. And did you have slaves? Not personally, but my family does and treats them well. Honestly, I never thought much about it until I came south. Back home, it's how it is. Slaves are everywhere. You don't question it. I'm not even certain many slaves do. Well, we don't have slaves in the South. In the South, you have alienages, slums, both human and elven. The desperate have no way out. Back home, a poor man can sell himself. As a slave, he could have a position of respect, comfort, and could even support a family. Some slaves are treated poorly, it's true. But do you honestly think inescapable poverty is better? Is that what you call it? Treated poorly? Use heaped upon those without power 
isn't limited to Tevinta, my friend. I don't know what it's like to be a slave, true. I never thought about it until I saw how different it was here. But I suspect you don't know either. Nor should you believe that every tale of Tevinta excess is the norm. That's all I wanted to know. Fair enough. I should go. Naturally. Questions, questions. I should go. Naturally. So we have gained the mages. Excellent. They should be able to seal the breach. You are certain you experienced time travel. Could it have been an illusion? A trick of the Fade? Dorian was sure. Impossible as it seems. What an amazing gift. It is vital the Inquisition succeed to avoid the future you witness. I'm surprised you're not more interested in your own future. I know enough. If that future happened, then I and Cassandra, Talon and the rest failed to stop this Elder One. Speaking of which, you should ready yourselves. Or this Elder One. You have now interfered with his plans twice. Once at the Temple of Sacred Ashes, and now again at Redcliffe. A being who aspires to godhood is unlikely to ignore such an affront. Greetings. We'll talk later. Chantry isn't supporting us. I told you that it was complicated. Was that... Well, that's mages all over. So many robes, I bet all of Pharrell's are lost their curses. I'll just be the other side of Haven, just in case. These mages are here to aid the Inquisition. Don't worry. Sure, don't worry. Magic up there, magic down here. What's to worry about? You know it too, that's why you're shoving them up towers after. That's good, right? I'll be back if I need you. Go on. The Mage Rebellion joins the Inquisition. I've got to admit, that's a twist I didn't see coming. One thing you saw in the future worries me. I mean, it was all bad. But Red Lyrium and Ferelden infecting people and growing out of them, that's bad. Finding more of it really punches a hole in my Red Lyrium at the temple was a coincidence theory. How long does it take for Red Lyrium to grow? How fast can it spread? It took years to infect people in Kirkwall, but no one there was actually ingesting the stuff. This Elder One managed to take the worst thing I can think of and make it worse. That's an accomplishment. We can't leave a single piece of that Lyrium out in the wild. I'm with you on that. I've got people trying to find out where the red stuff came from. I think maybe we should make that a priority. But th that's enough doom and gloom. You just won a big victory for the Inquisition. What are you going to do to celebrate? We can't know what's coming. Best not to get too comfortable. I can't disagree with that. But maybe you should try to relax while you can. Things should be calm around here for at least the next hour. Take a moment to enjoy it. If the world's about to end, I'm sure the Seeker will let us know. Need something? Can I ask you something, Varric? You want to talk about me? I'm flattered. Also inclined toward extravagant lies. Thanks, Varric. No problem. Anything to do.
if I brought back Templars instead. I'd be less worried about the thin veil resulting in mass possession. The Mages submitted to our authority. Their safety and our followers is my responsibility. I take it seriously. I recommend caution, that's all. Is there anything I should know? I'm glad to have the charges on our side. Wolf men are professionals, despite evidence to the contrary. That's all for now. Another time. And what are we supposed to do, exactly? What you always do, complain. We've already spoken with Commander Cullen. No one listens. We've been split up, regardless of our colleges, forced into quarters so small that... This is not the Circle. You have been conscripted into the Inquisition, like any soldier. How are we supposed to... Deal with it. It never ends, evidently. Is there an issue with the mages? Can I help? The mages are too accustomed to running or being kept prisoner. It's not easy for them. It's your doing, after all. You're the one who conscripted them. I had to think on my feet, and I did what I could. Oh. I do sound like I'm blaming you, don't I? I don't disapprove. In fact, you did well. You made a decision when it needed to be made. And here we are. I wish I could say this was my doing. You're flattering me. I'm not. This always happens. Nobody ever takes my meaning. <laughs> you should see your face. I'm thinking less flattering things now. <laughs> <sighs> Let's hope the breach has your sense of humor. Is there anything you need? That's enough for now. Another time, then. So, that Tevinter guy sent you into the future? Ugh. Every time I think I understand magic, the rules change. <laughs> I know, right? If I were a mage, I'd just throw fire at people. That's honest. Anyways. I hope our new friends have what it takes to close the breach. Damn thing gives me a headache just looking at it. Good day to you. Heard you found something that had to do with wardens. Would have liked to have seen it. Nothing right now. Perhaps in a bit. That was never going to be an easy answer to the mage dilemma. The mages are dangerous. There's no way around it. You chose for the good of us all. I can respect that. Pass my f Another time, then.
serve you well. something let me know Serve you well. I don't understand. I thought the chant of life bound us all together. Serve man and never to rule over him. Foul and corrupt. So Fiona and her malcontents are finally under proper authority. That's an excellent beginning, my dear. We will have to discuss how to administrate this new asset. Cullen doesn't have enough Templars to handle incidents. Some of the rank and file need to be trained. The last thing we need are abominations running amok. I knew you would have a proper grasp of the situation. I'll have a word with Cullen. We are reliant on his people, absolutely. There has never been a greater threat to mages than the breach. Until it is closed, no one is safe. You have a low opinion of your fellow mages. It's not so much an opinion as grasping the obvious. Magic is dangerous, just as fire is dangerous. Anyone who forgets this truth gets burned. You're preaching to the choir, Vivienne. Tell me something. You said once that you wanted to change things. What future would you build for mages? The circle has to be restored if we want to keep the peace. That's comforting to hear, but you'll find opposition to the idea even among friends. It's something to consider, my dear. My dear, did you need me for something? Do you think that you and I might someday... <laughs> That's charming, but you'll have to keep working on your technique. The Inquisition of... I understand you were instrumental in garnering the assistance of the rebel mages. It is well done. And I pray this Inquisition fares better than the Chantry in its handling of magic. 
would be difficult for us to do worse. Harshly spoken, but difficult to deny. In some ways, Andraste has a simpler task. Magic should serve man, and not rule over him. That tells us what should be, but it does not tell us how to get there. So many times the methods of men have undone the spirit of their goals. Once you have sealed the breach, we shall see whether this Inquisition is truer to the Chantry, or its own namesake. Farewell. Until next time. I'll take my leave. Good day. Who was she, Ambassador? A merchant. I thought we should reach out to the dwarves to secure lyrium for the Inquisition's mages. According to Lady Corpin, it raised the ire of the Chantry. Oh. Access to lyrium makes us rather more formidable than anticipated. We are becoming a challenge. Sadly, the remaining Grand Clerics appear to be consolidating the Chantry's power, ...instead of comforting the masses. The Chantry couldn't solve its own problems when it had a Divine. Yet many people continue to bear its great love. We will not benefit from its decline. Little but the Chantry ties Orlean, Nevara, Ferelden, Antiva, and even Rivain to a common cause. Has the Chantry truly promoted such peace? Andraste's chant is familiar across kingdoms, a source of many shared customs. That is the crucial point. Common ground is the start of all negotiations. I suppose a shared faith can be useful when talking with strangers. Precisely. And these similar interests are merely where we begin. We must learn to think beyond our own wants, to secure peace in Thedas. Planning to steer the history of the world, Ambassador Montillier? I believe the Inquisition is already charting that course. Which brings me to a question, if you have a moment. The remaining Grand Clerics sent a missive inquiring about the events at the Temple of Sacred Ashes. They demand to know whether the Inquisition officially claims that Andraste saved you from the breach. If it were up to you, how would you reply? I'd tell the Chantry that Andraste herself shielded me from harm. I'd truly like to hear the debates that would raise in Val Royale. Thank you for your thoughts. A good day to you. Pop carried Please on tell me if you find as soon as possible. We'll post soldiers a safe distance from the temple. Our best guess at safe, anyway. All right.
At your service. Let's see what we have. of the mages are ready, Harold. Be certain you are prepared for the assault on the breach. We cannot know how you will be affected. Mages! Focus past the Herald. Let his will draw from you. You did it. Solus confirms the heavens are scarred by the calm. The breach is sealed. We've reports of lingering rifts, and many questions remain. But this was a victory. Word of your heroism has spread. 
You know how many were involved. Luck put me at the center. A strange kind of luck. I'm not sure if we need more or less. But you're right. This was a victory of Alliance. One of the few in recent memory. With the breach closed, that Alliance will need new focus. Forces approaching! To arms! Bones poorly. Cullen? One watch guard reporting. It's a massive force, the bulk over the mountain. Under what banner? None. None? I can't come in unless you open. I came to warn you, to help. People are coming to hurt you. You probably already know. What is this? What's going on? The Templars come to kill you. Templars? Is this the Order's response to our talks with the Mages, attacking blindly? The Red Templars went to the Elder One. You know him? He knows you. You took his Mages. There. This Elder One. angry that you took his mages. Cullen, give me a plan. Anything. Haven is no fortress. If we are to withstand this monster, we must control the battle. Get out there and hit that force. Use everything you can. Mages! You! You have sanctioned to engage them. That is Samson. He will not make it easy. Inquisition! With the Herald! For your lives! For all of us!
firing. Not possible. Everyone to the gates. back to the Chantry. It's the only building that might hold against that beast. At this point, just make them work for it. The people of Haven will not survive on their own.
that?
someone help. About time. Let me out of here. Saved a few. Time to go. He tried to stop a Templar. The blade went deep. He's going to die. What a charming boy. Harold, our position is not good. That dragon stole back any time you might have earned us. I've seen an archdemon. I was in the Fade, but it looked like that. I don't care what it looks like. It's got a path for that army. They'll kill everyone in Haven. The Elder One doesn't care about the village. He only wants the Herald. I don't care what he wants. How do I stop him? It won't be easy. He has a dragon. We know what he... Herald, there are no tactics to make this survivable. The only thing that slowed them was the avalanche. We could turn the remaining trebuchets, cause one last slide. We're overrun. To hit the enemy, we'd bury Haven. We're dying, but we can decide how. Many don't get that choice. Yes, that. Chancellor Roderick can help. He wants to say it before he dies. There is a path. You wouldn't know it unless you'd made the summer pilgrimage, as I have. The people can escape. She must have shown me. Andraste must have shown me so I could t tell you. What are you on about, Roderick? It was whim that I walked the path. I did not mean to start with overgrown. Now, with so many in the Conclave dead, to be the only one who remembers. <laughs> I don't know. If this simple memory can save us, this could be more than mere accident. You could be more. What about it, Cullen? Will it work? Possibly. If he shows us the path. But what of your escape? Perhaps you will surprise it. Find a way. Inquisition. Follow Chancellor Roderick through the Chantry. Move! Harold, if you are meant for this, if the Inquisition is meant for this, I pray for you. They'll load the trebuchets. Keep the Elder One's attention until we're above the tree line. If we are to have a chance, if you are to have a chance, let that thing hear you. We will exact a heavy price. They will not take us easily.
Coming our way.
contender. You toy with forces beyond your ken no more. Whatever you are, I'm not afraid. Words mortals often hurl at the darkness. Once they were mine, they are always lies. Know me. Know what you have pretended to be. Exalt the Elder One. The will that is Corypheus. You will kneel. get nothing out of me. You will resist. You will always resist. It matters not. I am here to anchor. The process of removing it begins now. It is your fault, Geralt. You interrupted a ritual years in the planning, and instead of dying, you stole I do not know how you survived, but what marks you as touched, what you flail and rifts, I crafted to assault the very heavens. And you used the anchor to undo my work. The gore. Why did the Divine die? For this chaos! The chaos will empower me, and ensure we no longer beg at the feet of the invisible. I once breached the Fade in the name of another to serve the old gods of the Empire in person. I found only chaos and corruption, dead whispers. For a thousand years I was confused. I have gathered the will to return under no name but my own, to champion Wither to Vinter and correct this blighted world. Beg that I succeed, for I have seen the throne of the gods, and it was empty. Ah! The anchor is permanent. You have spoilt it with your stumbling. So be it. I will begin again. Find another way to give this world the nation and God it requires. You, I will not suffer an unknown arrival. You must die.
What would you have me tell them? This is what we asked them to do. We cannot simply ignore this. We must find a way. And who put you in charge? We need a consensus or we have nothing. Please, we must use reason. Without the infrastructure of the Inquisition, we're horrible. I can't come from nowhere. She didn't say it could. Enough! This is getting us nowhere. Well, we're agreed on that much. Shh. You need rest. They've been at it for hours. They have that luxury thanks to you. The enemy could not follow. And with time to doubt, we turn to blame. Infighting may threaten as much as this Corypheus. Do we know where Corypheus and his forces are? We are not sure where we are, which may be why, despite the numbers he still commands, there is no sign of him. That, or you are believed dead. Or without Haven, we are thought helpless. Or he girls for another attack. I cannot claim to know the mind of that creature. Only his effect on us. They're arguing about what we do next. I need to be there. Another heated voice won't help. Even yours. Perhaps especially yours. Our leaders struggle because of what we survivors witnessed. We saw our defender stand and fall. And now we have seen him return. The more the enemy is beyond us, the more miraculous your actions appear, and the more our trials seem ordained. That is hard to accept, no? What we have been called to endure? What we, perhaps, must come to believe? Mother Giselle, I just don't see how what I believe matters. Lies or not, Corypheus is a real physical threat. You can't match that with hope alone.
An army needs more than an enemy. It needs a cause. A word. A wise woman, worth heeding. Her kind understand the moments that unify a cause, or fracture it. The orb Corypheus carried, the power he used against you, it is Elf. Corypheus used the orb to open the breach. Unlocking it must have caused the explosion that destroyed the Conclave. I do not yet know how Corypheus survived, nor am I certain how people will react when they learn of the orb's origin. All right. What is it and how do you know about it? They were foci, used to channel ancient magics. I have seen such things in the Fade, old memories of older magic. Corypheus may think it of it. His empire's magic was built on the bones of my people. Knowing or not, he risks our alliance. I cannot allow it. This whole mess is confusing. I can see how elves might be an easy target. History would agree, but there are steps we can take to prevent such a distraction. By attacking the Inquisition, Corypheus has changed... changed you. Scout to the north. Be their guard. There is a place that waits for a force to hold it. There is a place where the Inquisition can build, grow.
They arrive daily from every settlement in the region. Skyhold is becoming a pilgrimage. If word has reached these people, it will have reached the Elder One. We have the walls and numbers to put up a fight here, but this threat is far beyond the war we anticipated. But we now know what allowed you to stand against Corypheus, what drew him to you. This all began with Andraste's blessing. It was that simple. Yet did her blessing grant you worthiness? Or was it given because you were already worthy? Your decisions let us heal the sky. Your determination brought us out of Haven. You are the creature's rival because of what you did. And we know it. All of us. The Inquisition requires a leader. The one who has already been leading it. Say that you will not make me regret this. If you're not sure, why do it? Because I believe this is what was meant to be. That without you, there would be no Inquisition. What it means for the future, how you lead us, that is entirely up to you. I will lead us against Corypheus, and I will be an ambassador. I'm a Canari standing for Thetis. The Inquisition is for all. Wherever you lead us. Have our people been told? They have, and soon the world. Commander, will they follow? Inquisition, will you follow? <laughs> So this is where it begins. It began in the courtyard. This is where we turned that promise into action. But what do we do? We know nothing about this Corypheus except that he wanted your mark. Corypheus wants to restore to Vinter. Is this a prelude to war with the Imperium? I get the feeling we're dealing with extremists, not the vanguard of a true invasion. Tevinter is not the Imperium of a thousand years ago. What Corypheus yearns to restore no longer exists. Though they would shed no tears if the South fell to chaos, I'm certain. Could his dragon really be an archdemon? What would that mean? It would mean the beginning of another blight. We've seen no Darkspawn other than Corypheus himself. Perhaps it's not an Archdemon at all, but something different? Whatever it is, it's dangerous. Commanding such a creature gives Corypheus an advantage we can't ignore. Corypheus said he wanted to enter the Black City, but this would make him a god. He is willing to tear this world apart to reach the next. 
It won't matter if he's wrong. What if he's not wrong? If he finds some other way into the Fade? Then he gains the power he seeks, or unleashes catastrophe on us all. Someone out there must know something about Corypheus. Unless they saw him on the field, most will not believe he even exists. We do have one advantage. We know what Corypheus intends to do next. In that strange future you experienced, Empress Selene had been assassinated. Imagine the chaos her death would cause. With his army. An army he'll bolster with a massive force of demons, or so the future tells us. Corypheus could conquer the entire south of Thedas, god or no god. <sighs> I'd feel better if we knew more about what we were dealing with. I know someone who can help with that. Uh, everyone acting all inspirational jogged my memory, so I, I sent a message to an old friend. He's crossed paths with Corypheus before and may know more about what he's doing. He, he can help. I'm always looking for new allies. Introduce me. Uh, parading around might cause a fuss. It's better for you to meet privately, on the battlements. Trust me, it's complicated. Well, then, uh, we stand ready to move on both of these concerns. On your order, Inquisitor. I know one thing. If Varric has brought who I think he has, Cassandra is going to kill him. This is the Inquisition. A dusty old ruin filled with battered soldiers. If you shut your mouth and open your eyes, you'll see that the Inquisition... Now what do they make down here? What can I make? I've walked away from too many burning buildings for one lifetime. This place, though, you'll be alright. It's Inquisitor now, isn't it? That'll take some getting used to. Everyone needs time for this transition. Time won't help. Purpose does. And I've got a load of it. Everyone just got a big, hard reason to hate Corypheus. And we already did, but we didn't have a name. You're the surprise, not him. We left in a hurry, but you got into your old place. Save anything? Family ammo. It's as stupid as it sounds. It's good to be back at work. How is this place shaping up as a forge? Better than Haven ever could be. Not the way I wanted an upgrade. But ever forward. Have you any thoughts about the people we lost at Haven? Blitter. So sad. Too young. The rest of us go on. It's what we have to do. You gave us the chance. Thanks for that. You've got it all up and running? Your basics, like always. There's space here for... I don't know what. This place was built for something big. It'll be a job to fill it. I'll be back later. I'll be here. Inquisitor. I'll be back later. I'll be here.
I've made some inquiries into the Imperial Corps. The sooner we deal with the threat to the Empress, the better. The political situation in the Empire is dangerously unstable. It will complicate matters. Everything in the Empire complicates matters. It's the Orlesian national pastime. Turn your nose up at the grand game if you like, Commander. But we play for the highest stakes, and to the death. The Corps' disapproval can be as great a threat as the Venatori. We must be vigilant to avert disaster. Don't worry, Josephine. We'll protect the Empress no matter what. I pray you're right. If your vision of the future comes to pass, well, the death of the Empress heralds the destruction of everything. Orle holds Tevinter at bay. All of Thedas could be lost if the Empire falls to Corypheus. Selene is holding peace talks under the auspices of a grand masquerade. Every power in Orle will be there. It's the perfect place for an assassin to hide. Does Selene know about the threats against her? Can we send word? I've sent messages to the Empress, but it's impossible to know if she's received them. I'll arrange for an invitation at your discretion, Inquisitor. Inquisitor, I was just inspecting our new headquarters. Foundation cracks, nesting animals, and miles from any centers of civilization. The staff must make it presentable if we're to receive any visitors of distinction. The people coming know we just survived Corypheus and a dragon. And they must be confident we are able to do so again. The mages will be gauging the Inquisition's fortitude. They should feel safe here. Do you not feel safe here? I've had difficulty forgetting Corypheus' attack on Haven. Do you know who first left to arms? Our workers. They were so proud of our cause. Corypheus simply cut them. So much screaming after that first blast of fire. So many people turned to ash. Corypheus will pay when I face him again. I dearly hope that happens soon. Well, before I return to my duties, allow me to congratulate you on your appointment as Inquisitor, my lord. I will now bring diplomatic issues to your attention, and I'm more than happy to help with any situations that arise. You don't have to be so formal just because I'm Inquisitor now, Josephine. Our allies and guests should see you treated with every courtesy, Inquisitor. Especially considering the newness of your office. Fortunately, after your courage as Haven, it's no difficult task to do so. Inquisitor, is it true? Is the mark on your hand magic cast by Corypheus? Corypheus claimed it's a spell gone wrong. I wanted to think it was a blessing. A sign the Maker was returning to his creation. How credulous of me. Perhaps the Maker set these events in motion so long ago, we can no longer see his hand in them. It would be fitting if that were true. Does it hurt? The anchor, that is. It's not pain, it's more like my nerves go on fire. It sounds... Most unpleasant. A situation requires your attention, Inquisitor. Noble Chantry loyalists in the city of Jader are spreading accusations that you're responsible for the Divine's death. They're unusually organized. I recommend we send people to Jader to deal with the matter. Will anyone even believe me if I claim I didn't kill the Divine? Perhaps if they learn about your heroics. We should emphasize how you stopped the bridge devouring the sky. Even in Jader, it may win you a few admirers. What does the nobility gain by saying I murdered Justinia? A scapegoat to begin with. But I wonder if the Grand Clerics are at work. Those immediately eligible to be divine died at the Conclave. The ones remaining were not as favored. They may look upon you as a rival for influence. Let's send some ambassadors to convince Jader I'm not a monster in disguise. Excellent. I believe there's much to be gained by winning them over. Good day to you. Let's speak later. Another time.
Greetings. I need to know more about Corypheus. We spoke of this on our travels to Skyhold. What more can I tell you? Cassandra and Varric seem more familiar with their adversary. You've given me good counsel before. I could use some now. My apologies, Inquisitor. My poor manner shame me. I claim no secret wisdom, but I will guess as best I can. I would like to know more about the orb he carries. As I said, that must be the means by which he created the breach. I suspect the blast that destroyed the Conclave was more accident than anything. The result of unlocking power that had sought release for ages. What I cannot understand is how he managed to survive such an explosion. You said that you believe the orb is elven. I never would have believed that a Vinter Mage could unlock such a powerful relic. It clearly enhances his abilities. Giving him access to power I should never have known. Like the power to control the Archdemon. Indirectly, one assumes. Nothing in any law connects my people to the old god dragons who became Archdemons. What can you tell me about the source of Corypheus's power? According to the law, the ancient magistars of the Vinter received guidance from the old gods. Corypheus commands a false archdemon, a corrupted old god. This suggests he no longer sees himself as their minion. Some of his unique power comes from the corruption of the blight. The rest may come from the orb he carries. What do you think Corypheus will do next? You shamed him when you destroyed Haven. Spoiled his glorious victory. It would be worse to acknowledge that you had done so. He must continue on his course or show weakness. He will return to his plans to throw Ole into chaos and then conquer it for Devinter. You're sure that's what he'll do? As certain as is possible. Assuming I can plausibly predict a man who seeks to rise to godhood. And can you? The key is understanding this. No real god need prove himself. Anyone who tries is mad or liar. His deception will undo him. As it has done countless fools before. We'll talk later. Greetings. We'll talk later. Goodbye. isn't it? One moment you're trying to restore order in a world gone mad, that should be enough for anyone to handle, yes? Then, out of nowhere, an archdemon appears and kicks you in the head. What? You thought this would be easy? No, I was just hoping you wouldn't crush our village like an anthill. Sorry about that. Archdemons like to crush, you know. Can't be helped. Am I speaking too quickly for you? You don't need to worry about me. I can keep up. Yes, I noticed that. Did you now? Certainly. If you were a slack-jawed yokel, you'd already be dead. I always assumed the elder one behind the Venatori was a magister. But this is something else completely. In Tevinta, they say the Chantry's tales of magisters starting the blight are just that. Tales. But here we are. One of those very magisters a dark spawn. Who does the Imperium say started the blight? You know how it is. Not us. They say dark spawn were always there. Magisters and the blight aren't even related. Is that a surprise? No one wants to admit they shit the bed. But if Corypheus is one of the magisters who entered the Black City and he's dark spawn, what other explanation is there? Why does that make you angry? Because the Imperium is my home. I knew what I was taught couldn't be the whole truth, but I assumed there had to be a kernel of it, somewhere. But no, it was us all along. We destroyed the world. Last I checked, the Blights hadn't actually destroyed the world. Not for lack of trying. If they were more clever, They'd have unleashed something that would really do the job. <laughs> no one will thank me, whatever happens. No one will thank you, either. 
You know that, yes? We don't know what will happen. Nobody does. An optimist! <laughs> Such a rare breed. I've stumbled upon a unicorn. All I know is this. Corypheus needs to be stopped. Men like him ruined my homeland. I won't stand by and let him ruin the world. Oh, and congratulations on that whole leading the Inquisition thing, by the way. Something you need? There must be some reason you haven't left. You can't want to stay. Why? I have to be fond of you to agree with what you're doing. I do think you blunder about, Inquisitor, thrashing like a caged dragon at everything that displeases you. I still believe Corypheus needs to be stopped, and that I need to be here to help stop him. Why is that so vital to you? There must be a reason. I'm just whimsical that way. Of course there's a reason. Corypheus is... was a magister. He represents everything dark and terrible in my country. I have to help. Even if it means I stand on the sidelines watching, I'll do it. I need to know he's defeated. If that's meaningless to you, then tell me to go and I will. No, I'm not asking you to leave. Excellent. Then let's not belabor it further. Sir, greetings. I was recently appointed by Sister Liliana to keep her books in order. I'm so pleased to be here, helping out in my small way. Well, I should get back to work. Greetings to you, Inquisitor. I am to serve as assistant to any research concerns. You'll find my skills are exceptional. I hope they prove useful. You're taking over the duties of Meneve? Yes. She said she was needed elsewhere and that I should serve the Inquisition to the best of my ability. What is she doing? I wasn't told. You were made tranquil? Yes, I am tranquil. It was necessary due to a willful nature that made wielding magic a dangerous endeavor. I remember that being a difficult time, but I cannot remember why. My skills are well used in my current position. How can you serve the Inquisition? I am to aid in the research of all creatures encountered in your efforts as leader of the Inquisition. What makes you particularly qualified? I remember being fond of animals. I don't remember why. What is your evaluation of how we're doing? Not optimal, given the facilities. Skyhold should be improved, or our efforts will continue to suffer. As you were. Yes, Inquisitor. Greetings, Inquisitor. That is your title now, yes? I admit, I was worried what being conscripted into the Inquisition would mean, but it's not as bad as I feared. We survived the attack on Haven, and this fortress is secure. It's more than most of us have known for a long time. I'm glad you've settled in. It's better than being hunted by Templars for months on end. <laughs> I've been a Grey Warden, Grand Enchanter, leader of a rebellion, and now I am none of those things. Odd where fate takes you, as you're no doubt well aware. You were once a Grey Warden? Mine is... An unusual circumstance, Inquisitor. Normally one is part of the Order until death. But long ago I found myself stripped of what made me a Warden. They tried to reinitiate me, but nothing worked. Nor could they figure out how it happened. So I was sent to the Circle of Magi. The first Warden ever to be kicked out. <laughs> Quite the achievement. You sound happy about it. Becoming a Warden seemed like a dream when I was first conscripted. 
Towards the end, however, my brothers and sisters, they felt I had somehow cheated death. I was glad to leave. It also made me unique in the circle. I had an opportunity to do more than I ever could as a warden. You mean you began the Mage Rebellion? I pushed for our vote to free the Circles of Magi. But I cannot claim sole responsibility for what followed. Still, despite all the chaos, I would do it again. What happened, had to happen. You're not still the Grand Enchanter, then? Any claim I had to the title ended along with the Circles of Magi, although some still call me by it. Perhaps the Circles will one day be resurrected. If so, another will take the position. Until that time, I lead my fellow mages by default. I will do what I can for them. You believe they'll recreate the Circle of Magi after all this? It depends on who the next Divine is. And what she offers. We can't go back to the way things were. But endless warfare benefits no one. That is why I agreed to Justinia's conclave. There must be another solution. I've been meaning to ask, how exactly did the Venatori take control in Redcliffe? Mages constantly found their way to us while we were there. Stragglers, most of them strangers. I had no way of knowing some were actually to winter. They spread whispers, encouraged talk of an alliance, and we were desperate. I'm not proud of our choice, but we were certain Templars were coming. It could have ended far worse. I trust everything is well with the mages? Some struggle with the idea we are once again subject to control, but we are enduring. I'll leave you to it. The names of those we lost. You must blame me for this. We all saw who attacked us. We know exactly who to blame. I keep wondering if I could have done something different. When the first of my lookouts went missing, I pulled the rest back, awaiting more information. If they'd stayed in the field, they could have bought us more time. I was afraid to lose my agents, and instead we lost Haven. More likely they would have stayed out there, died, and we would have lost Haven anyway. You don't know that. Their lives could have bought Haven a small chance. My people know their duty, they know the risks. They understand that the Inquisition may call upon them to give their lives. Our people aren't tools to be used and discarded. Your instincts were right. Their lives matter. Can we afford such sentimentality? What if Corypheus? We are better than Corypheus. I'm listening. The Divine's death hit you hard. How have you been feeling? Oh. You are referring to my outburst in the Haven. I... I am much better now. She was a good friend. And it will take time to get used to her absence. But thank you for asking. It is appreciated. I'll leave you to your work. Sister Leliana will want access to the birds. Get the cages up here. Quickly.
right. Skyhold does seem more secure than Haven. Only if we have the numbers to defend it. A place like this serves no purpose without enough people to make the running worthwhile. Let us begin. Maker, you're a mess. Let me have a look at you. Are you all right, my dear? Were you hurt? You look dreadful. I'll be fine, don't worry. You bear it well. Good. The troops will take their cue from your composure. Now, let's keep up appearances. You've handled this crisis competently, saving as many lives as you did. But the enemy struck a serious blow against you and the Inquisition. We must recognize that. You must. I'm not going to forgive what happened at Haven. Corypheus will answer for what he's done. You're angry? Good. Anger can save you when everything else is gone. Just make sure you put it to good use. Our enemy advances, Inquisitor. We must not sit idly by. Act first and teach them to fear us. I think you know what needs to be done, my dear. My dear, did you need me for something? So, this is Skyhold. Come, let's walk the ramparts. I want to examine our fortifications. We'll be able to see Corypheus coming from miles away. He's not going to get the better of us again. We lost good soldiers that day, loyal men and women. Let him come. I swear I'll take the Twister Bastard down, even if I have to die to do it.
I'm grateful for your support. It's my job, isn't it? Killing Darkspawn. Look, in spite of it all, there is hope. The people flock to your banner. They believe in you. Tell me honestly, are you what they say you are? Andraste's chosen. I was chosen by Andraste. She saved me. We shouldn't question it. I don't. We all need to believe in something. Inquisitor, meet Hawk, the champion of Kirkwall. Though, I don't use that title much anymore. Hawk, the Inquisitor. I figured you might have some friendly advice about Corypheus. You and I did fight him, after all. This view reminds me of my home in Kirkwall. I had a balcony that overlooked the whole city. I loved it at first, but after a while, all I could see were the people out there depending on me. You're lucky it was just a single city. I've got half of Thetis. You're doing everything you can to protect them. Does it ever get any easier? I'll let you know. I don't envy you, Inquisitor, but I may be able to help you. Varric said that you fought Corypheus before. Fought and killed. The Grey Wardens were holding him, and he somehow used his connection to the Darkspawn to influence them. Corypheus got into their heads, messed with their minds, turned them against each other. If the Wardens have disappeared, they could have fallen under his control again. If that's what happened to the Wardens, do you think we can free them? It's possible. But we need to know more first. I've got a friend in the Wardens. He was investigating something unrelated for me. His name is Stroud. The last time we spoke, he was worried about corruption in the Warden ranks. Since then, nothing. Corypheus would certainly qualify as corruption in the ranks. Did your friend disappear with them? No. He told me he'd be hiding in an old smuggler's cave near Crestwood. If you didn't know about Corypheus, what were you doing with the Wardens? The Templars in Kirkwall were using a strange form of lyrium. It was red. I'd hoped the Wardens could tell me more about it. Corypheus had Templars with him at Haven. They looked like they'd been exposed to the lyrium you describe. Hopefully my friend in the Wardens will know more. I appreciate the help. I'm doing this as much for myself as for you. Corypheus is my responsibility. I thought I'd killed him before. This time, I'll make sure of it. Inquisitor. You said you thought you killed Corypheus? The Grey Wardens had him imprisoned. They used my father's blood in a ritual to seal Corypheus inside. But he could still reach out and influence the Warden's thoughts. He sent them after me. And I didn't just think I killed him. When the fight was done, he was dead on the ground. Maybe his tie to the Blight somehow brought him back. Or maybe it's old Tevinter magic. But he was dead. I swear it. Where did you go after the mages rebelled? I heard the Chantry might be sending an exalted march to Kirkwall to put down the rebellion. I hoped that leaving would save lives and force the Divine to divide her forces to come after me. As it turned out, I needn't have bothered. All the circles started rising up, and the exalted march never came. I heard you had family and friends in Kirkwall. Where are they now? When the Wardens began acting strangely, I had my friend Aveline take my brother out of the Free Marches. My uncle Gamlin's still in Kirkwall, but everyone else I used to know, they've pretty much scattered to the winds. 
Varric said you were the champion of Kirkwall. I've only heard a little about what happened there. What happened at Kirkwall was the same thing that happened everywhere. Fearful of blood magic and abominations, the Templars brutally suppressed the Circle. And in their desperation to survive, the mages of the Circle turned to blood magic or became abominations. Finally, a rebel mage named Anders destroyed Kirkwall's Chantry. And everything came tumbling down. I heard that Anders was your friend. What was he like? I don't know if there ever was just an Anders. He was crazy. By the end, there was nothing left in him except this insane need to start a war no one could win. I assume Varric's been feeding you information about the Inquisition? What did he say about me? Only good things, I promise. I was a little surprised, actually. Varric isn't one for religion in general, but he thinks highly of the Inquisition. We'll talk later. I'll meet you in Crestwood. Scout Harding. Your worship. Shouldn't you be out there scouting? In a bit. We're in Skyhold for supplies and a change of personnel. Not me, though. Indispensable. <laughs> so who's Scout Harding, really? Me? Oh, I'm no one. Lived near Redcliffe all my life. Herded sheep for my neighbor. When the Inquisition came through my village, I helped by telling them everything I knew about the area. Then I signed on. Wanted to see the world before it was swallowed up by... that... thing out there. What's been going on? Sister Liliana glanced at me today. I think she's gonna have me killed. I have to go. So, Inquisitor. It's Inquisitor now, right? Remember that war we talked about stopping? Full of little baddies I can stick with little arrows. That's not a friggin' archdemon, is it? Draste, what did I step in? I've apparently been through a lot. But yes, Corypheus was a surprise. No, a surprise would be, oh, I stepped in dog shite. No one says, oh, a Magister God monster, I'm surprised. Impossible things aren't surprises. I can't help if you don't explain what's wrong exactly. It's got to be nonsense, doesn't it? What kind of screwed if it isn't? I mean, that Corypheus thing. A magister, right? Story is, he cracked the Golden City. But that's a hazy dream. If not, seat of the Maker, real thing. A seat needs a book, so the Maker, real thing. Fairy stories about the start and end of the world, real things. It's too far, isn't it? I just want to plug the Skyhole rubbish so I can go play. You joined to help the little people caught up in this. But do you believe or not? In Andraste? Of course. But you doubt what you're seeing and hearing. It can't be true, true. Even fanatics don't want to be this right. Look, I have arrows. I can make this Corypheus believe in those. Good enough? Please be good enough. As long as you're reliable when we go magister hunting, stay for whatever reason you like. Like don't have nuts to do with it. Not when we're tracking monsters that shouldn't be. What I want is to get everything back to business as usual. A nice simple system with simple problems. Helps me, helps people, helps you. In that order. For now. Belief may decide what happens. You can't rule it out. Right, well, shout me up when the gods show. I'll be here, loony. Demon armies and wardens, and Varric has exactly who we need. The big talker just knows everything. I'll be back if I need you. Go on.
Inquisitor, huh? Well, you've got the fortress for it. Speaking of which, when you've got a second, there's something I want to show you. What did you want me to come see? Here, come on. I'll show you. Why am I dressed like this? You'll see. Come on. It'll be worth your time, I promise. Evening. Iron Bull. My merc band just joined up. Tanner. I'm from Jader. Well, Mir Jader. Mira. I was guard captain for Lady Pendel. Signed on after shit blew up at the Conclave. Share a drink? Who's your friend? This is Grim. He doesn't talk much. Ah. Uh. So, you ready to kill some demons? Or Benatori? Or whatever that Corypheus asshole is? This isn't just about killing. We're helping the Inquisitor save the world and build the next empire. Huh. Well, long as I get paid, I'm happy. That's why I signed up. I just couldn't spend my whole life on a farm. Needed to live a little, you know. What about you, Mira? Why'd you join up? I thought you were serving some noble. I saw what happened at Haven. The Inquisitor staring down that monster and his archdemon. I don't think the chant of light as much as I should. But you can't see something like that and not believe. Well, Grim and I should find our tents. Thanks for the drink. I know every soldier under my command. You don't have that option. But a few faces might help. You made it sound like you didn't like the Inquisition. People don't always tell the truth when you're polite. You've got to poke them a bit. But those two soldiers might think you're an asshole. So? It was good to get their perspective. Yeah. Sounds like we could use an easy win for boys like Tanner. And vets like Mira have seen enough to be wary. You've got a good army coming along. Remember that. No matter what comes next. Thank you for Haven. Less so for Redcliffe, but I am committed to serve your worship. Hey, boss. See you later, Bo. Nice talking with you, boss. You knew where Hawk was all along. You're damned right I did. You conniving little shit. You kidnapped me. You interrogated me. What did you expect? I expected you to tell the truth. I told you what was at stake. So I just hand him over on your say-so? It's okay, Hawk. This zealot isn't crazy. I promise. <sighs> Look at her. She's finally lost it. All right. You've both made your point. We needed someone to lead this Inquisition. Hawk was our only hope. He was the champion of Kirkwall. The mages respected him. And you kept him from us. The Inquisition has a leader. Hawk would have been at the Conclave. If anyone could have saved Most Holy... Varric's not responsible for what happened at the Conclave. I was protecting my friend! Varric is a liar, Inquisitor. A snake. Even after the Conclave, when we needed Hawk most, Varric kept him secret. He's with us now. We're on the same side. We all know whose side you're on, Varric. It will never be the Inquisition's. Attacking him now won't help us, Cassandra. Ha! Exactly. And you better not be keeping anything else from us. Ah, I understand. He did bring Hawk. Late, perhaps. But Hawk is with us. 
as are you. You know what I think? If Hawk had been at the temple, he'd be dead too. You people have done enough to him. I believed him. He spun his story for me and I swallowed it. If I just explained what was at stake, if I just made him understand. But I didn't, did I? I didn't explain why we needed Hawk. I'm such a fool. Good thing I still like you. I'm serious. You think I'm not? I want you to know. I have no regrets. Maybe if we'd found Hawk, the Maker wouldn't have needed to send you. But he did. I don't know how it will end. But I would have it no other way. Good book. Ah! I don't know what you're talking about. Yes, because I suddenly went blind. Oh, that. Just reports from Commander Cullen. You're an excellent liar. It's of no interest to you, I'm certain. It's a book. I can see that. One of Varric's tales, Swords and Shields, the latest chapter. So you like to read? What's wrong with that? It's frivolous. There are more important things for me to do. That's just her favorite. Nobody asked you, Tavinta. <laughs> I couldn't finish the last one you lent me. I actually feel dumber for having tried. It's literature. Smutty literature. Whatever you do, don't tell Varric. Maybe I should read that book. You? No. Why not me? You're the Inquisitor. <laughs> oh, I see. They're terrible. And magnificent. And this one ends in a cliffhanger. I know Varric is working on the next. He must be. You! You could ask him to finish it. Command him to... Pretend you don't know this about me. Something is troubling me, Inquisitor. Leliana is receiving reports of mages becoming possessed. Templars going rogue. No one is dealing with these matters. I was hoping we might before they get worse. We can certainly look into it. I will mark these incidents on the map as I learn of them, Inquisitor. And I would be pleased to accompany you if and when you investigate. So, that book you were reading. Oh, yes, what of it? So under that taciturn shell beats a true romantic heart. Why must it be an accusation? Romance is not the sole province of dithering ladies in frilly dresses. It is passion. It is being swept away by the pursuit of an ideal. What is not to like about that? Don't get me wrong. I like this side of you. I don't swoon. <laughs> I meant the passion. Ah. Oh. Well, that's not so bad, then. Is there anything you need? That's enough for now. Another time, then. That got a little... Heated. Are you all right? Well, that depends. How angry is Cassandra? 
I wasn't trying to keep secrets. I told the Inquisition everything that seemed important at the time. I know, Varric. You never would have kept quiet otherwise. I keep hoping none of this is real. Maybe it's all some bullshit from the Fade and it'll just disappear. I know I need to do better. I'm sorry. Corivius is back. Oh, shit. You said he was a Darkspawn or a Magister. What is he really? I'm not sure. I don't think Corypheus really knows either. He's definitely a dark spawn, but when we found him, it was pretty obvious he hadn't heard that. He thinks he's a magister, a priest of Dumat, in fact. He says he broke into the Golden City, like in the Chantry tale. If you and Hawk defeated him once, we can do it again. We didn't just think Corypheus was dead. He was dead. No pulse, no breath, full of stab wounds. There wasn't a lot of room for doubt. It makes me wonder. I thought the Wardens imprisoned Corypheus to use him. Maybe they did it because he can't be killed. How did you and Hawk even wind up in a Grey Warden prison for ancient Darkspawn? Corypheus sent people after Hawk. He actually got control of an entire Carter clan. Made them drink Darkspawn blood. Weird shit. We tracked the Carter to an old dwarven fort or something in the mountains. Of course, it turned out to be a trap. They needed Hawk's blood to open the locks holding Corypheus, and they drew us into the prison to get it. There has to be a way to defeat Corypheus. We'll find it, don't worry. I hope you're right. Baker's breath, what have I let loose? You had nothing to do with this, Varric. I was the one who led Hawk to Corypheus. If I hadn't tracked the Carter to that ruin. But you've got more important things to do than listen to me worry. Just let me know when you want something shot. Need something? Can I ask you something, Varric? You want to talk about me? <laughs> I'm flattered. Also inclined toward extravagant lies. Thanks, Varric. No problem. Need something? Cassandra is waiting for the next issue of Swords and Shields. I must have heard that wrong. It sounded like you just said that Cassandra read my books. What's so surprising about that? Well, you have met Cassandra, haven't you? Wait, did you say the romance serial? Oh, she'll be waiting for a while then. I haven't finished it and wasn't planning to. That book is easily the worst I've ever written. The last issue barely sold enough to pay for the ink. Well, Cassandra seems to be hooked on it. And I honestly thought a hole in the sky was the weirdest thing that could happen. So, you want me to finish writing the latest issue of my worst serial for Cassandra? Oh, that's such a terrible idea. I have to do it, on one condition. I get to be there when you give her the book. You've got a deal. I'll get to work then. You know, the fact that the book is terrible just makes it more worthwhile somehow. Need something? What can you tell me about this Corypheus? I'm not exactly an expert, but ask away and I'll answer what I can. How did you first encounter him? A few years back, I was dealing with some trouble from a Carter clan that went rogue. They were sending assassins after the Hawk family. We tracked them to a rune in the Vimarks. It turned out to be a trap. Once you went far enough into the rune, there was a magic barrier that kept you from going back. The whole thing was a prison the Grey Wardens were using to hold what they thought was a powerful darkspawn.
I've never heard of wardens locking up Darkspawn. Why wouldn't they just kill him and be done with it? I don't think they could. From what we saw in there, Corypheus can control Warden somehow. They couldn't attack him. The Wardens locked him up because there was nothing else they could do. He looks like some sort of blighted creature, but he speaks. What is he exactly? The Wardens who imprisoned him thought he was just a Darkspawn. But you heard him ranting. He claims he's a Magister. One who assaulted the Golden City, what, more than a thousand years ago? It seems crazy, but if he's telling the truth, He's one of the people who caused the blights. You and Hawk both said before he was supposed to be dead. He was dead. We killed him. The only way for us to escape the prison Corypheus was trapped in was to go through him. We weren't going to just leave the door to his prison open behind us and hope he was dead. We made sure. All right, I think that's enough about Corypheus. No problem. What have you done now? I get it, Seeker. You're still sore after our spat. I'm not a child, Varric. Do not suggest I'm without reason. Uh, a peace offering. The next chapter of Swords and Shields. I hear you're a fan. This is your doing. I was hoping you'd be happy about it. Well, if you're not interested, you're not interested. Still needs editing anyhow. Wait! <laughs> you're probably wondering what happens to the night captain after the last chapter. <gasps> Nothing should happen to her. She was falsely accused. Well, it turns out the guardsman... Don't tell me! <clears throat> This is the part where you thank the Inquisitor. I don't normally give sneak peeks, after all. I... thank you. Varric's the one you should be thanking. I am but a humble servant to my loyal readers. I wonder if I have time to read the first part. But don't forget to tell all your friends, if you have any. Ah, oh, completely worth it. Planning troop movements now? I'm trying to imagine what it will look like when we're done. All of this once belonged to the Tevinta Imperium. Andraste changed that, as did the Blights. As for what will come next... I cannot guess the Maker's plan. We make the world a better place. Because everyone agrees on what better means. I know I want a world where people trust the Chantry and that trust is respected. I want to respect tradition, but not fear change. I want to right past wrongs, but not avenge them. And I have no idea if my wanting these things makes any of them right. Even if they're not right, they're certainly admirable. Some would disagree. They would call it heresy. That didn't sound like the ravings of a heretic, Cassandra. Perhaps not. But it takes precious little effort to paint even an act of compassion as damaging. Tell me, what guides you? You make decisions that shake the world, yet always seem so assured. I wish I had your confidence.
If I'm guided by anything, it's you. Oh, excellent. The blind leading the blind. I don't think you're blind. Clearly, you haven't been paying attention. Haven't I? When we first met, if someone told me I would be pleased to have you lead me, I would have throttled them. But I am. The Maker chose well. I appreciate that. We still have a long road to travel, Inquisitor. Wherever it takes us, I'm glad you're here. What do you need, my friend? Do you have any advice for me? Treat Dorian with caution. It's possible he could be what he seems. A Tevinter mage wishing to do better than his countrymen. What if he is not? At best, his presence makes the Inquisition appear to have questionable allies. That's enough for now. Another time, then. How's it going? See you later, Bull. Nice talking. Sent? Yes, Commander. This thing is not a stray puppy you can make into a pet. It has no business being here. Wouldn't you say the same of an apostate? Inquisitor, I wondered if Cole was perhaps a mage, given his unusual abilities. He can cause people to forget him, or even fail entirely to notice him. These are not the abilities of a mage. It seems that Cole is a spirit. It is a demon. If you prefer, although the truth is somewhat more complex. Cole warned us about Corypheus at Haven. He saved a lot of lives. And what will its help cost? How many lives will this demon later claim? In fact, his nature is not so easily defined. Speak plainly, Solas. What are we dealing with? Demons normally enter this world by possessing something. In their true form, they look bizarre, monstrous. But you claim Cole looks like a young man. Is it possession? No. He has possessed nothing and no one. And yet he appears human in all respects. Cole is unique, Inquisitor. More than that, he wishes to help. I suggest you allow him to do so. What do you mean by possession? Spirits and demons cross over from the Fade by attaching themselves to something in this world. But Cole has willfully manifested in human form without possessing anyone. The demons who came through the breach, or through the rifts, weren't possessing anything. These demons were drawn through against their will, driven mad by this world. But Cole predates the breach. From what we can tell, he has lived here for months, perhaps years. He looks like a young man. For all intents and purposes, he is a young man. It is remarkable. I should hear what Cole has to say for himself. Where is he now? If none of us remember him, he could be anywhere. Haven. So many soldiers fought to protect the pilgrims so they could escape. Choking fear. Can't think from the medicine, but the cuts rack me with every heartbeat. Hot, white pain. Everything burns. I can't. I can't. I'm going to... I'm dying. I I'm... Dead. feeling their pain. It's louder this close, with so many of them. Would you like to go somewhere more comfortable? Yes, but here is where I can help. Every breath slower, 
like lying in a warm bath, sliding away, the smell of my daughter's hair when I kiss her goodnight. Gone. Cracked brown pain, dry, scraping, thirsty. Here. Thank you. It's all right. She won't remember me. You're using your powers as a spirit to help people. Yes. I used to think I was a ghost. I didn't know. I made mistakes, but I made friends, too. Then a Templar proved I wasn't real. I lost my friends. I lost everything. I learned how to be more like what I am. It made me different, but stronger. I can feel more. I can help. If you're willing, the Inquisition could use your help. Yes, helping. I help the hurt, the helpless. There's someone. Hurts, it hurts, it hurts. Someone make it stop hurting. Make her, please. The healers have done all they can. It will take him hours to die. Every moment will be agony. He wants mercy. Help. You say he won't die for hours yet, but you can't know that for certain. His body is failing. He could recover, or the healers could find another way to help him. How do you know? I don't, and neither do you. That's part of life. Try. I want to stay. Inquisitor, is there something I can do for you? I should really focus my attention on the injured. You aren't a mage. Shouldn't we let the mage healers deal with this? Magic can't cure everything, and we shouldn't rely on it. Science, your worship, is the way of the future. Good health isn't magic, it's diet, exercise, and a balance of the humors. Do we have many injured men? Fewer by the day. The most grievously injured did not survive the journey to Skyhold. As for the rest, they either heal or... <sighs> I try to make the passing painless. I haven't seen you before. The commander brought me up from the refugee camps. I've been helping the pilgrims in simple ways. Setting broken bones, simple amputations and such. We need all the help we can get. As you were. Your worship. Roderick was sorry before he died. Did he tell you why he was sorry? Blood everywhere. Monsters, madness, dying. We're all dying. The Herald stands against it and heads turn. Desperate and simple. Pure voices in the Chantry. Years since I'd sung the song and felt it flowing through me. This is real. This is real. So long since I'd felt it. Falling, flying, faith. And I fought him. Make her forgive me. I hope I did enough. He hates it all because of the darkness behind the door. Some doors should stay shut. I'd like to talk about what happened to you before we met. Before you, Reese was my friend. He showed me I was wrong to kill the mages. I thought I was helping them. Then he and Evangeline went to Adamant, and I went with them. I was worried Evangeline would hurt Reese. We found out dangerous things. It scared Seeker Lambert, and he scared the mages. It started the rebellion. Seeker Lambert told me what I was. Reese couldn't look at me. I ran until I found more Templars. That's all. What can you tell me about Adamant Fortress? It is old, full of sadness and pain. It should be torn down. The veil is thin. We found a demon there. 
It had touched a man and made him real again. It scared Reese and Evangeline. The man wasn't supposed to be real. Then the demon found us. It put me back in the cupboard on a bad day. Reese and Evangeline saved me. You said Seeker Lambert told you what you were. I'm hiding Reese from him, but he chants words and seeds. I won't let you hurt Reese. My nose explodes, a shower of blood. Just another parasite that's wormed its way into our world, feeding off all the things you can't have. What we found at Adamant made him angry. We were the first rock rolling at the top of a mountain. He had to stop us. He killed so many. He didn't care. Cold, corrupt. So I came and killed him. If you hated Seeker Lambert, why go to the Seeker Fortress? Because he was right. I was a demon. I saw demons at Adamant. They put people in the dark, in the old hurts. I didn't want to be that. I heard the old songs of the Templars at Val Royo and followed them. If I forgot, fought, fell to felling, Templars would kill the demon. I wouldn't hurt anyone again. What was the spire like when the Mage Rebellion started? Dead and dying, begging and bloody. Some wanted freedom, some peace, some war. Some wanted it all to stop. Evangeline was a Templar, but she helped Reese help the others. She set them free. Adrian was a mage, but she killed mages to force the fight. She wanted blood. Reese just wanted to help, to stop people hurting. Maybe that's why he saw me. What can you tell me about Reese? He saw me when most couldn't, and he remembered. He helped me, and I watched over him. I worried Evangeline would hurt him. She was a Templar, but she didn't like hurting people. When I left, she stayed. Now she watches over him. They should have been with the rebels. Maybe they ran away together instead. Neither of them like killing. If you like. I could use the resources of the Inquisition to locate your friend. No. If they are alive and safe, they should stay away. The last time he saw me, he didn't want to look at me. He saw a monster. Let him forget. What did you mean when you said you killed mages? Some of the mages at the Spire wanted to die. Too sad, too scared, too much. I didn't know what I was. A ghost, I thought. Fading in the fade. When I came to them, they could see me. I used the knife to set them free. When Reese found out, he made me stop. Made me understand. There were other ways to help. I didn't know. It sounds like you didn't know what you were doing. No, I killed people. I knew. I just thought I had to. They were hurting, helpless, haunted. It was all I could do. It was wrong. I was wrong. If I start again, you or Cassandra or Cullen need to kill me. I'll talk to you later. How do you know? Send men to scout the area. We need to know what's out there. Yes, sir. Commander, soldiers have been assigned temporary quarters. Very good. I'll need an update on the armory as well. Now! We set up as best we could at Haven, but could never prepare for an archdemon or whatever it was. With some warning, we might have... We were all shaken by what happened. If Carithia strikes again, we may not be able to withdraw. And I wouldn't want to. We must be ready. Work on Skyhold is underway. Guard rotations established. We should have everything on course within the week. We will not run from here, Inquisitor. How many were lost? Most of our people made it to Skyhold. It could have been worse. Morale was low, but it's improved greatly since you accepted the role of Inquisitor. Everyone has so much faith in my leadership. 
I hope I'm ready. You won't have to carry the Inquisition alone, although it must feel like. We needed a leader, and you have proven yourself. You responded quickly to the attack on Haven. Without that, so many more would have died. I'm grateful for any help you can give. Thank you, Inquisitor. I will do everything I can to ensure the security of our people. You have my word. Did you need something? Is there anything I should know? Repairs to Skyhold's fortifications are progressing. Our scouts report no immediate threats in the surrounding area. We are fortunate Solus knew of this place. That's all for now. I'm sure you have other matters. Carry on.